because you know what I mean? When you are the class of the league, that's what happens after a while is that uh, these these regular season games ain't nothing but some paid workouts. And so pretty much that's where they're at at this point. Um, all right. So Ravens, five and two. Cardinals, one and six. You got a plus eight and a half going on with this one right here. Over under 44 as well, too. So when I look at this game, I know a lot of people are going to be in love with the Ravens this week. Everybody's already touting Lamar as the best quarterback in the NFL, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, the Ravens can't do no wrong and all that good stuff. But you know what, though? And their two losses, Lamar looked absolutely terrible. And literally the first four weeks, he did not look that good. The defense was really carrying this team. And, you know, he had a good game. Good for him. He finally threw for over 300 yards in a game after pretty much throwing for under um, uh, 200 yards in 80 percent of the games that he played in this year. He did exactly what you're supposed to do when you make all when you demand all that money in your contract. You know, your job is not to run for 150 yards. Your job is to manage the game and try to get 300 yards and four touchdowns passing. And that's exactly what Lamar did. So we all have to praise him for doing his job. Cut, cut it out. Stop it. You know what I mean? Because we know that Lamar is balling now, but in four weeks, his leg will start hurting and then he'll start playing mediocre football as usual. I, I just it, I just don't trust Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry, Jeff. And, um, you know, Lamar is a good is a, he's a great athlete. And I, I was one of the people pay the man. But that's because it's the Ravens. Everybody else was really smart to say, you know what? I'm not giving him that much money. What the hell? Not at all. The only team that he can scam for that much money is the Ravens, dude, at the end of the day. And that's because the Ravens have a great system in place that fits his skill set. So, you know, there's a lot of good things that are going on. But do I consider the Ravens one of the better teams in the NFL? Nope. Even though they're still in my top 10, that's just because of their record. Now, if they had a tougher schedule, they wouldn't be five and two. That's the whole thing. So, when you look at their, 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 when you look at them in reality, this team has really been able to coast a bit. But all in all, though, I feel like the Cardinals are the scrappiest team in football. I know I say that every single week, and they've let me down the last four weeks in a row. But you know what, Jeff? They're not going to let me down this week. Josh Dobbs, take me home tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and take that plus eight and a half uh, with the Cards. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm shocking the system a little bit, but they're going to Arizona and things get crazy in Arizona, and you know that. Pops, I think you've taken your hatred towards Patrick Mahomes. You finally waved There's the no, white flag. Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out. There is no hatred, man. There's just no, 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 Lamar no, is not. No, no, that no, good, no, man. no, 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 let me still let me you on. Used to be on that, Lamar that, that, last year, too. So that, stop that, it. That, my point very simply was your haterade towards I'm not hatering, uh, uh, I'm not hating, bro. I'm just having an opinion. You know, I'm only messing with you when I'm using these <laughs> words that I'm choosing. My point is you're dissing on Lamar for the fact of the matter, and in came the Lions. Three-point dogs, not six, not eight, not ten. The hottest team in the NFC. Don't forget they were undefeated on the road, and the Ravens just stepped on their throat. I mean, what was it, 35 nothing at halftime? This guy called Lamar has taken it to the next level here. He is throwing the ball a lot, lot more efficiently. He is actually becoming a pocket passer. This Ravens team is pretty damn good. I think – they go out to the desert, which has taken down some teams. I know that for a fact, but I don't see the little engine that could Kyla Murray. I don't see Neil Lomax. I don't see a bunch of these other quarterbacks out there from the past that are going to slow down this train called the, the Ravens. And, and I think this is a, an ugly game early. I think they come in, they take care of business. And I think the Ravens, probably behind the Chiefs are the second best team in the AFC and probably a top five team in the NFL right now, Pops. All right, let's see when the when the schedule gets real. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll who were the Lions? Who who was the Lions? The Lions are probably the best thing that they've had on the schedule, dude. 
And then when you look oh. up and you see that they lost to the Colts of all teams, you know, the Colts are okay. But, you know, that Colts team that pretty much gave you the blueprint on how to play the Ravens. And if you can go ahead and play with that game plan, then it's going to be ugly for them. Because if you make Lamar do too much, they ain't going to win the game. You know that, Jeff. You know that. Every time you look, <laughs> Lamar has 400 yards to himself, they lose by 10. But see, he's not – but but my point here, Pops, is is he's not rushing for 100, 125 yards a game. He's not rushing for two and three touchdowns a day. It's, it's a different look. That's all I'm trying to say. And I, what I saw on Sunday was a totally different quarterback. The emergence – and the addition to Zay Flowers, it opens up the middle of that field. And you know I'm not an OBJ guy. He's good for one or two catches. You got Mark Andrews. I don't know, you know, Gus Edwards catching 80-yard touchdowns, which is – he was on my fantasy bench. I just think this is a team that you're going to have to be leery of. And I think this could be one of the teams that you're going to rejoice that take down the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. Man, they ain't even going to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even gonna get to that point the nfc north is real man and if they if i'm gonna call lamar an eight week quarterback because once we get past at week eight he's gonna get back to being 